Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon. Nothing like a little rain today, huh? A little mission in the rain? Well, this truly is a San Francisco moment, and I'm absolutely honored to be here and, and do this. And it's just, it's a dream come true in a lot of ways. My name is Tom Murphy. I'm one of the organizers for Jerry Day. We actually started around this area, started that event 20 years ago, and here it is, still going strong. And thanks for everybody for your support. I'm incredi incredibly excited that we will once again celebrate and bring it back to the Jerry Garcia Amphitheater and celebrate the legacy of Jerry Garcia, who grew up the first five years right up the street here at 121 Amazon and then 87 Harrington Street down the street here. It's, it's amazing to me, well, not surprising, but we now have Jerry Days all over the place and there was recently a Jerry Day in Australia. And somebody correct me, but I don't think the Grateful Dead ever went to Australia. But so, you know, th it shows that this, this scene is growing and, and taking off tremendously. Um, kicking off today is the days between, but we're, gonna, we're extending this into a week of celebrations that will go to the 14th. Um, we've had a lot of community collaborations with this on Jerry's 80th birthday. birthday. I especially am excited for all the community organizations and partnerships that came about this during, during this time. Uh, Red Light Management, Mark Allen, thank you. Uh, the Jerry Garcia family, of course, Trixie, thank you so much. Um, the Office of Workforce Development, especially Chris Corgis, Marianne Thompson, thank you very much. SF, SF Rec and Park, the SF Library, the District 11 Office, Super, Supervisor Asha Safai and EJ, thank you. SF Travel, Grants for the Arts, the SF Giants, the Stern Grove Festival, Hay Street Merchants, thank you, Sonny, for coming out today. And thank you, Valley Brown, for coming out from Grants for the Arts. And all the community organizations from here, Excelsior Action Group, the Excelsior Outer Mission Merchants, Dark Horse Inn, uh, Manny's Cafe, Harmonic Brewing, and of course, key supporters of Der Jerry Day, such as the Jerry Garcia family, Sound Support, Melvin Seals, Stu Allen, San Francisco Rec and Park, SF Beautiful, um, and all of our staff, volunteers, and especially all of our donors, such as Tommy O'Boyle wearing these nice shoes here today. Yeah. <laughs> um, it, it, when I first learned about this, I have to mention her name, Joe Coffey. She actually advocated to have the Jerry Garcia, have the McLaren Park Amphitheater renamed, and that was back in 1995, and that was the first time I personally found out and realized that Jerry grew up in the neighborhood, and it really sparked a plug in me, and uh, here I am, uh, 25, 30 years later doing this. It's, it's amazing. And right here is the plaque. This was installed in 2017, and it has the quote there. What we're trying to do is expand rather than narrow. And I feel that community was able to accomplish that this year while we're working to recover from the pandemic that we all went through the last two to three years. Once again, I want to say thank you and have a huge happy birthday to Jerry Garcia, his 80th birthday. Now I'd like to introduce the mayor of San Francisco, who is a big fan of live music, big fan of live music, the 45th mayor of the city and county in San Francisco, London Breed. Thank you, Tom. Well, I almost wore my tie-dye dress from Love on Hate, but since I have to run to a flag raising right after this, I had to dress up. Back in 1965, when the Grateful Dead came into existence, they really not only put San Francisco on the map, they put the Hate Ashbury, they put tie-dye on the map, they created music for everyone. In fact, mixing reggae, gospel, soul, all country music, everything that they did represented a way to bring people together. And I think that's why so many people identify with their work, um, identify with their music, and feel so connected to this group because there was always something for everyone. And some of you may have been alive at the time, but I got to see, I wasn't alive, I like to brag about that, just a tad bit. Um, but I got to see so many of the photographs of them performing on 
Haight-Ashbury performing in Golden Gate Park. And when you look at the crowds and the seas of people, it was absolutely extraordinary. And what they were able to do along with so many other iconic groups in this community, in this city, was to make magic happen, to make us feel good about the time, despite the challenges that existed. We remember the Vietnam War and other things that were going on. And in fact, Jerry Garcia, we're privileged that he was born and raised in this neighborhood, lived the first five years of his life about a block and a half away from here, supported and loved his hometown, like I know some of the natives that are here today. And so we want to honor and recognize his legacy because even though he was a, a star and performed all over the world, he always represented San Francisco in such an extraordinary way. And when I think about, you know, just the, over time, uh, so many things that have been done, Tom and his work around Jerry Garcia Day, uh, the Jerry Garcia Amphitheater, where there'll be a great performance that other any of you can go and watch for free tomorrow at Oracle Park. You can wear all the tie-dye you want as we beat L.A. because we're going to be playing the Dodgers. There'll be so many activities and events, but what is so great about this year, more so than anything else, I love the fact that we're bringing it home. We're bringing it to where it all started, where Jerry Garcia was born and raised, where he spent his time as a child, and we're gonna be having a number of events throughout the community. And that's what it's all about. These activities, these things that bring people together, and nothing brings people together more than live music. We'll be at a number of various venues will be at a lot of places and on August 14th Phil Lesh will be with his friends and others one of the other founders of Grateful Dead will be with a group of folks at the the big picnic at uh, Stern Grove right here in San Francisco which is open and free and available to everyone so I am really excited to be here today and really grateful for all grateful for all of you <laughs> um, and, and, and your love and your support of, of this extraordinary, iconic person. We know um, that he was a larger-than-life figure, and today would have been his 80th birthday. And so as we celebrate and honor and remember his legacy, let's continue to remember what he stood for, for music, for entertainment, to keep smiles on people's faces, and to just really bring joy to our hearts and our souls uh, with the, everything that he and the Grateful Dead created. And so today, on behalf of the city and county of San Francisco, I want to present his daughter, Trixie, who is joining us here today with a proclamation, just recognizing your father and his numerous talents and your family and the community. And today, we're going to officially proclaim it Jerry Garcia Day in San Francisco. Mostly just thank you, Mayor Breed. You're an inspiration, and um, it's people like you that hopefully are inspiring young people to go out there and get involved. Remember, they could change the world. Um, my father was raised in this diverse working class neighborhood. Here he learned about fair labor laws from his grandmother, who um, was a union organizer. It was here that he learned how to be a musician from his father, who played alto sax in his own jazz band. It was here he learned to see the beauty in people's stories from growing up at the family bar in Soma. Close, and close it was nearby. Uh, here he learned how to live like an artist from summer spent at San Francisco Art Institute. All of these factors contributed to the enduring legacy of Jerry Garcia. Not just a world-class musician, but someone whose lasting influence continues to make the world a better place. And as his daughter, it's an honor to be here and represent the family, be a San Franciscan, a proud Californian. Well, this is the best place on the planet. Thank you, San Francisco, for valuing these ideals, always choosing to stand for something and being a safe space where open-minded people are free to have their awakening. Today, we honor our father, Jerry Garcia, who played hundreds, maybe thousands of shows in the city on his 80th birthday. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Trixie. Thanks. Thank you, Mary London Breathe. Now to say a few words is uh, Joanne Madonna from Artspan. They're doing a huge art initiative out here in Excelsior District, um, working with many organizations such as Grant for the Arts. Here's Joanne. Thank you, Tom, the unofficial mayor, kind of, of the Excelsior. Um, I run Artspan, and this is a testament to why art really does matter. We are all here because an artist, Jerry Garcia, touched so many people and still does. And so what are we doing? We're bringing art out to everyone. We have, for four years, we have paid artists. We have 29 artists. We've given them a total of about $50,000 because we're putting money in the hands of artists to put art in the storefronts along Mission Street. And on the closing, kind of, just roughly the closing of Jerry Garcia Day in the park, we're going to have a pub crawl through the park, out of the park, and along Mission Street, and ending at the Dark Horse Inn. How would and you take it that far? <laughs> we got it. We got this. We got this. We got this. And and along the way, there's going to be bands. There'll be five bands along the way in bars, and there are going to be 11 sites with art. Wow. So it's a music and art crawl from finally get people out of McLaren and come see the Excelsior. Yeah. It really, I mean, it, it means so much to me to be supported and to know that art does really matter. And it's what brings us together. The very first art walk we did, we were like, we're gonna do an art walk and take all the artists and walk along. And I'm like, maybe 30 people will come. It'll be amazing. A hundred people came and walked the entire path with us. And I was like, it, we are touching people. We send postcards in Cantonese and Spanish and English to everything we do. And um, come here, Nick, for a moment. We do really pretty things. Like, here is the map of the day. We're gonna put them all over. If you're a business owner, please let's put it in your, in your window. And the partnerships we have with Excelsior Action Group, with city departments, mayor's office of economic workforce development, it matters. City funds are coming to me and us to give it to artists and you all get to benefit. So thank you all for being here. Art matters. It's gonna help us come back from this crazy time with the COVID. So follow the art because we're gonna be here. Thank you guys. Thank you, Joanne. I just want to list the events that are going on today. Of course, today we had the special proclamation. Uh, tomorrow night, Jerry Garcia night at the Giants. Uh, also today starting is an Excelsior Library art exhibit. It will go on for the whole month of August. Please check it out. And then there's the Hay Street activation going on from August 7th to August 14th. Thank you, Sonny, for curating all that. And then Art Span starting uh, October, uh, excuse me, August 11th. And then we'll have an event at Manny's Cafe on August 11th. And then a special Ocean Beach cleanup with the Jerry Garcia family on August 13th. And of course, Jerry Day, August 13th, the 20th anniversary at the Jerry Garcia Amphitheater. And then after the show will be Jerry Night with the art installations and Art Span and the Excelsior Art Initiative all along Mission and Geneva. And then the day after, Stern Grove Festival with Phil Lesh and friends, closing out an excellent two weeks of Jerry Garcia celebrations. <laughs> Thanks everybody for coming out. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Mayor London Breed, Trixie Garcia, and all the Jerry Garcia family. How about a happy birthday to Jerry? Thank you, everybody. Happy Jerry Day.